Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So in this video, let's take a look at an overview of the code that's going to parse out the attacker's addresses as he changes them from the obfuscated code on the GitHub link. On my screen here, you'll see that I have a terminal running. Since yesterday, August 3rd, it is now August 4th, and we have three address changes while I was running this code. I'm gonna be leaving this running for, I don't know, a week or so and see what we can grab. I have the code here, we're gonna go over that, but I'm gonna open it up in a new file so that way I don't mess around with the actual running code. So let's open that up here. And inside of this Python code, we only have three functions and it's pretty simple. And we'll get into the details of how I coded all this and why I did what I did in the following videos, but this is for the people who just want an overview before they start coding or don't plan on coding it because they already know how to code but want to play with the code from the link below. So we have three functions. We have a check address function, we have a write address function, and we have the main function. So the main function is just going to kick things off by checking the addresses and then sleeping for five minutes. So every five minutes, it's gonna rerun this and look for a new attacker address. Pretty simple. Now within this check address function, we're gonna call that GitHub link. We are going to grab the response and put it into a data object. We're going to then create an attacker address from a regex and we'll explain why this regex within the details and how that works. But all that is here is calling this and looking for this line and extracting out that from the actual URL the attacker's using. Now, once that's done, we are going to create a date and then we're going to start logging it. So we're gonna say, hey, if this attacker's address is not in our current attacker's list, let's write some values into our log files. Now, our log files you can see over on this other thing here. So we have our attacker's output, which is logging each of the attacker's addresses. And then we have an attacker CSV address file, which is going to log the attacker's address as well as the timestamp so we can correlate how often he's changing those. Then if we hop back into the code within the right address, after we call that, if we don't already have it, all we're gonna be doing is writing to those two documents. We're gonna to write to that attacker output text. We're gonna to write to that attacker output CSV. And that's everything, right? So that's the quick overview. You can grab the code below and play around with it. Basically what's gonna happen when you run it is it's just going to keep running in this infinite loop. And all you're gonna see is output, right? So you're gonna see new address found, when it was and it's going to start filling up these log files in the next videos now i'm going to show you how i actually coded this and this is for the people who are beginner python programmers and just want a little detailed analysis on how they would create this themselves this is not for the experienced people but hopefully it's beneficial to my more junior watchers so i'll catch you in the next videos that i'm going to record tonight and uh hopefully you enjoy these